Hey guys, Dave the NES Guy here, and I'm back with another box art banter. This week I'll be looking at anticipation. I'm not going to make an anticipate joke. Alright, so where to begin? There are so many things that are wrong with this cover. I'm going to start off with the fact that there are adults on the front cover. What are adults doing playing an NES game? And poorly dressed adults at that. Where's the rag clothing? This is supposed to be advertised to children. Children are not going to look at this and say, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that looks interesting. Back to the adults. There are eight of them. It's like Snow White and the Seven Dweebs. You've got the Snow White, you've got this doofus guy, you've got this jockus guy, you've got this other guy that looks like he's going number two, you've got this woman with her hand princess thing going on, you've got Mr. Serious, you've got the first Timus. I don't know, that's what I thought of when I was, you know, naming these characters. And you've also got Surprise to be on the cover. Holy cow, they are just an interesting arrangement of people. Bizarre. That's what I would say. Award time. Let's go through the awards here, alright? So, first off, best sweater, best ethnic diversity, best bangs, best stare into the camera, best douchebag face, best impression of a man on the toilet, and finally, best Meg Ryan impression in When Harry Met Sally. Yeah, I've seen the movie, and that's the best impression on this cover here. Absolutely. Who or what are they looking at? They're definitely not looking at a TV because they'd all be looking down. And or at the very least, they'd all be looking at the same place. And honestly, is it really fun to be with your friends and only two people are playing the game? Probably not. Fun for all ages? I don't think so. There's nothing fun about this game. Across the top here, it says, Nintendo's first board game. Board indeed. It's just boring. Alphabet across the top? Alphabet across the top? Seriously? Did they think this was a good idea? And what's the alphabet doing across the top here? Kids? Adults? They don't want to see that across their game. The alphabet? Is that an advertisement? What is it doing there? I mean, was this a good idea? Were they like, hey, I know, the alphabet. That's what kids and adults love. Right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. The alphabet, I mean, really, fun for all ages, fine. But the alphabet, who really thought that was a good idea? Let's put the alphabet across the top because they're going to be writing in this game or printing or tapping buttons to make words. Kids, adults, the alphabet, I don't know about that one. W, X, Y. All right, moving to the back cover. Man, there's a lot of writing in this game, you know? Like, again, kids are like, just show me what it's gonna be and how it's gonna be fun. Going to the back cover here, you have three screenshots on the right and then a whole bunch of text on the left. Screenshot on the right, it looks like a game board, plays like a wacky puzzle game, and turns into something completely outrageous like a hot dog stand. Oh my God, that's so outrageous. I've never seen one of those before. It's really outrageous. Proper definition of outrageous, hot dog stand. Absolutely. Honestly, I don't even want to read this text. What are they going to write about in here that's going to convince me, because, you know, the cover's already convinced me the game's amazing. What could they possibly write in here to convince me to buy this game? Oh, here we go. Bored with board games? That's how they start off. Bored with board games. Tired of pursuing trivia. Yes, children are sick of trivia. Absolutely. Had your fill of ethical questions. Ethical. You know, the eight-year-old boy in me was like, hmm, ethical. Yes, absolutely. Then you're ready for anticipation. This zany, unpredictable, totally whacked out video board game begins with a giant connect the dot puzzle. And see, that's where my issue is with this game. They're trying to appeal to kids and adults at the same time, and I don't think they do a good job. When they say here that it's a whacked out video board game, adults want a whacked out game? No, kids want a whacked out game. But kids don't want to play this game because it's not fun. Suddenly, 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 a video pencil starts connecting the dots. And before you know it, you're in a maddening race against the clock trying to solve the puzzle. A maddening race. So the kids are going to be like, ah! Probably not. Is it an igloo? A penguin? 
a pineapple. It could be any of those things because they're all oval. Mmm, very clever. Whatever it is, you and all your friends will have a great time trying to guess what the pencil is drawing. Oh, what's it doing? What's the pencil doing? Oh, look at the pencil. Oh, it could be doing this. Oh my god, so much fun. I, I know, I'm ripping on the game here, but really? <sighs> Deserves it. <sighs> Guess right, and you'll get a crack at the really tough puzzles. No dots or clues. Whoa. No dots? No clues? Wow. Suddenly, I'm impressed. Think you're up to it? Then challenge your friends. Or take on the computer. Either way, this off-the-floor board game will challenge you, excite you, and generally drive you crazy for years to come. It'll drive you crazy, because when you saw this game in the bargain bin, and you know it was in the bargain bin, you had a choice between this one and another bargain game, and you were like, hmm, I think I'll take this one, because it has the alphabet on it, and I love the alphabet, which is why I'm gonna buy this one, right? No. The game explicitly states that it will drive you crazy for years to come. That in itself is a warning to not buy the game. The game, on the back, is telling you, probably don't want to buy the game. Who made this game anyway? Rare? Rare made this game? Oh man, there's no way I could have anticipated that. Yeah.